Well, welcome to Gardener's Cottage in Blakeney on the North Norfolk coast in the UK. I'm going to give you a video guided tour of the cottage now. Coming in the front door, greeted by the staircase on the left. We're going to take you into the body of the house now, down through this corridor. See the wooden panelling on the walls. Corridor splits here. We're going to go left into the main entertaining kitchen. This is one of the big features of Gardener's Cottage. Got that large central island unit with a sink and dishwasher in it. And then this lovely light kitchen dining area, family entertaining space. You've got a four oven arga here, massive table area. It's actually been replaced with an even longer wood top farmhouse table. Dressers on the wall, plate racks with all the vintage crockery. You're looking out into the garden area now through these three French windows that go right down the side of the house. On the back of the kitchen you've got storage areas, smeg fridge freezer, got your double butler sink, dishwashers just hidden in that central island unit. And then looking back towards the back of this room you've got these two facing sofas with a coffee table and in that cupboard on the wall you've got a 32 inch widescreen telly. This area is beautiful and light. When it's sunny, this room just lights up and you've got those French windows that open out onto the garden, giving you a massive space with almost triple aspect, 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 sorry. Coronation mugs because you're on Coronation Lane. Just a little themed selection there. And then looking back onto the garden, again through one of those French doors. And this little door on the back of the kitchen area goes through into the lounge area, three big sofas, selection of books, a lovely log burner, TV with a DVD player hidden in that cupboard beneath it, selection of Norfolk themed art on the walls. We're now at the back of the little corridor coming in from the front door. This is the downstairs toilet we're just going to show you. Window onto the back courtyard low level bath, sink, high level toilet, wood panelling on the walls, blind for your privacy. Coming back out from the bathroom you've got the two downstairs bedrooms. This one's on the back of the house with a big king size bed. There's a TV in that cupboard on the corner. The door goes through onto the utility room. Washing machine and uh, tumble dryer in there. The only bedroom you'll stay in with an ensuite utility room. Two chairs for people to get away from the rest of the family if need be and watch a bit of telly. This is the other large downstairs bedroom. Lovely French four poster bed in this room. Twin bedsides. Large window looking out onto the front of the house and the parking areas. And here's your Ensuite bathroom and shower room, roll top French bath, cast iron that one, underfloor heating in this room, panelling on the walls, heated uh, towel rails. There's a large further TV area in this downstairs room with that gorgeous old mahogany. It's actually a writing desk with a wardrobe area above it and drawers beneath. Upstairs now to your three further bedrooms on the first floor. Big light airy landing on the top here with a further seat and lamping area. Taking you into what is the largest of the three upstairs rooms. I've now got a single bed in this room making it a family room sleeping three. Window looking down onto the uh, parking area. Surrounded by pine trees so it's absolutely private here. Lovely upholstered French. Regency style bed. And you've got a ensuite bath and shower room again on this room upstairs. Sink with mirror above, roll top French bath, low level toilet, shower, heated towel rail. All these bathrooms have got underfloor heating so they're absolutely snug in winter. Can be a little too hot in high summer. But they are all controllable on the walls. You've got individual controls for everything here while you're staying. This is the other upstairs bathroom area which is shared between the other two bedrooms. Low level bath with a shower on the wall and shower screen. 
and then you've got your toilet and wash basin in this room as well further heated towel rails felix windows allowing ventilation they've all got automatic fans that you can switch on and off if you find them a little noisy you can open the windows during summer this is the smaller of the third upstairs bedrooms it's now been fitted with a single and a double French upholstered bed when we shot this video it was just a, two singles we'll have to do a further video showing you the upgrades that we've made to Gardner since this was shot back in 2019 back out onto the corridor turn left and along the corridor to the large family room with this massive tall painted French oak bed twin sides lamps that's the courtyard area on the back of the house it's a flint wall that runs down the back there under all that greenery totally private when you're in it two single beds on the back entrance of this bedroom your wardrobe's in that uh, area on the wall cupboards and drawers either side of the uh, king size bed that's the back garden from upstairs looking down onto the patio area with the gravel barbecue area and eating area you see it's completely walled it's backing onto the Methodist chapel at the back there the painted white windows very few people in there from week to week so it's pretty private this is the courtyard on the back of the house further little seating area outside lamping which is switchable from the kitchen this is the front of the house with the parking area runs right along the front of the house and down the side easily get four or five cars in this area so there's no hassle with your parking in Blakeney which can be a problem if you haven't got a dedicated parking area and your south facing garden with Chimera barbecue areas lounges dining table and seats parasol put out during the summer months so this is a real sun trap south facing walled and sheltered can be absolutely roasting down here go down onto the quay and there's an easterly breeze blowing and you think shouldn't have put my shorts on but this garden's an absolute sun trap and a delight during summer months you've got a small lawned area with seating again this is shot very early in the season around April beginning of April when there's still a few snowdrops just out garden really hadn't been tidied up at the end of the winter we'll leave quite a few of these uh, shrubs uncut for the wildlife going back onto the uh, two French windows there that are in the kitchen and the gravel area extends down the side of the house here with another further small seating area in summer you have these French doors just thrown open so you come straight in and out of the house onto this lovely area dog friendly family friendly and a, a lovely private space for you to entertain, barbecue, and just kick back and relax in North Norfolk. So that's Gardener's Cottage. We're going to hopefully welcome you here to enjoy it yourself and stay with us in this delightful holiday cottage on the marvellous North Norfolk coast. So we look forward to seeing you. Thanks for watching.